guys this is the continuation of the previous video which we have discussed the networking between the two containers so in order to make a connection between two containers we need to make a bridge as i had explained in this ppt so the bridge is residing in the middle of the two containers and the two containers if they want to communicate we need to establish a bridge and the default bridge which will be created when we are having a docker compose file with two or more services is the folder name underscore default so this is the default bridge which with, with which it will be created and over it the containers can be added and let's see the um, command how to connect or how to um, um, when the default bridge is connected how to make the containers available in that network so when we put docker network ls the default network created is graphql underscore default so how do we add the two containers which we have created if it is not there in this say like i have inspected this container uh, this network and then I am not having any containers in it and I can't establish connection between it how can I do that so there is a command called that docker network docker network connect and then network name so what network so here it is like graph ql underscore default and the container name so the container name which i have created is docker container ls so here two containers are running one is graphical express container and then other is the json server container so instead of this container name you have to give this graphical express container and in the next command you need to retype docker network connect graphql underscore default space json server underscore container so when you uh, execute these two commands the network the default network which was created already graphql underscore default with containers as a empty object will have two containers stored here if the containers are not there i am saying so with so with this command docker network connect command we are actually establishing the uh, bridge between these two containers and from which what i can do is i can take the container name say this graphql express container needs to communicate i mean it needs to do an api request to this json json server underscore container so in order to do that I can copy this json underscore server underscore container and then when I go to this schema or the API request where I am going to put it instead of putting localhost the port name I can put the actual container name and the host name so that this json this uh, uh, graphql server underscore container can communicate to json server underscore container which is in port 3000 so this is how the connection has been made hope you understood if you like this video please subscribe guys thank you